Okay, this is just a little demo right here just to show that you can run this uh, system off of a uh, battery. Uh, the max draw on this is uh, about 275 watts, um, but you're never really going to you know, draw that much uh, unless you're cranking it up full power. Uh, transformer is going to be about 270 watts, and then if you just throw in 5 watts for the, uh, you know, the fan, these little lights which are insignificant, um, you're looking at 275 watt max. And so if you round it to 300 watts and you double that, that's what the inverter is rated for, 600 watt continuous and then 1200 watt peak. So you got plenty of buffer where you're not going to be overloading this uh, inverter. Um, for the most part, you're going to be drawing maybe around 150 watts if you're setting this at about 50%. And this particular inverter, you want to make sure you have a pure sign inverter. Uh, this is going to be um, offered with the MWO for anybody who is overseas so we don't have to deal with the different 220 volt 50 cycle transformer inside in a variac that costs three times as much um, and all these complications and so for anybody overseas all they need is the inverter we're not um, we're only going to sell them with the inverter that we supply that way we know it's going to be the correct inverter for 60 cycle 420 volts and what we're looking at is um, I would recommend me about 100 to 125 amp hour range battery and at full power this is actually going to exceed the 5 hour rating by just a little bit but the thing is is you're only running it for about 15 minutes so it's not even going to really touch the battery and then also if you have a 220 volt uh, uh, 50 cycle power supply with a DC output that could be connected to the inverter to um, run it as well and that's a lot simpler uh, a lot more elegant solution than dealing with completely redesigning the inside with different uh, components uh, for overseas. Um, and if you have a battery, you could just keep a ba you know a little charger on it, and you you know don't really have to touch it. But that's that's a simple solution for overseas. Or if you want to run it off the grid, you know take it out you know uh, wherever. Uh, then you know it's completely electrically, electrically isolated from the power supply. So this battery's been sitting out front of the shop for um, you know a year and a half or something like that. We just put a charger on it, one of the old Bedini 2A12 chargers on it for a little while. Um, so it's not fully charged, but it's resting at 12.57. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the inverter on. Not going to use a remote start. Looks like a lot of these inverters now um, you have a remote start with a telephone jack type cable and a remote button uh, with an off and on. Uh, but I would recommend if you're sitting in the chair, do not bring it over there because as soon as it kicks on, that cord can act as an antenna and it can blow out your entire inverter. Um, and so don't do that. Also, again, this is a pure sine wave inverter. Um, with sine wave, do not use modified sine. That's just not, not even, can't even call it a sine wave. Uh, but a pure sine inverter is as close as you can get to a sine wave and oftentimes these sine waves are actually cleaner than what's coming out of the wall. So this is really good for inductive loads and, and so forth. So anyway, gonna we have it clicked on. You see the green light will come on right there. And then I'm going to turn the uh, power, power on. Looks like that power is on there. Got a reading on the uh, this kilowatt meter because I just want to look at... Uh, uh, power factor and uh, and the draw. So we got 118.9 volts. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on. So just pulling the load down a little bit. That's just the fan, 12.43, a couple hundredths of a volt. Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, spark gap on minimum, intensity zero. I'm going to turn that on about 15 minutes. So we got it sitting at 12.40, and then as soon as we start kicking it on, okay, so that's at 100% on the Variac. And again, this battery's been sitting for about a year and a half, and so it's not it's not really charged up. But this is just a demo that you can run it off of an inverter. If this was charged right now, this would be floating around 12.6, 12.7 because the Bedini chargers actually bring it up to about 15.3 to desulfate it. This is a sealed battery, so 14.8 is where you want to bring them up to. We're sitting at 11.96. Got some power out. 
foot. I'll, I'll crank the spark gap up here. Definitely got full power. Okay, so there you have it, the battery powered uh, MWO completely off the grid and electrically isolated from your power supply. And I'll redo this with another video with a fully charged battery just to show that it's hardly touching it. Again, this battery's been sitting for like a year and a half and we only had it on a charger for about an hour and a half. So, um, but it is a deep cycle, so you can take these down to 10 and a half. So it still has some juice. Okay, so this is just a quick little clip just showing the full system here. Uh, I got rid of the power strip. I just needed that because I couldn't plug the kilowatt meter into the side of the unit because the little lip prevents that. But um, so we got the, the whole full blown system. Uh, plug is in the Variac. Variac is hooked to that battery, uh, which has been sitting around for a year and a half. We only had it on charger for about an uh, hour and a half, so it's not really fully charged up. Uh, but in any case, it works uh, just fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flick the breaker on. Yeah, we got it, and we and obviously we're able to get full power, so no problem. So this is the solution, easy solution for anybody overseas, anybody who wants to take this uh, camping and set it up at a barter fair, <laughs> or uh, you know you just want to be completely electrically isolated from the power, um, your home power supply, then this is the way to do it. You know, not drawn very much. And again, this is a deep cycle battery. This is good all the way down to 10.5 volts and it's 11.6. So we're just going to run that for a little bit. 